Greetings and welcome to Crossroads Inn. I'm Catherine of Sky and firstly let me apologize for the microphone quality. All I have is my gaming headset because right now I am in Norway um, but soon it will return to normal. But in the meantime I really wanted to look at this game and kind of figure it out a bit. Now I started off with a campaign and oh my goodness it is buggy as anything. I played three hours and I only got through the first scenario and it's like, oh my goodness. This is a finished game, quote unquote finished game. This is not early access, so I'm thinking, oh my goodness. I, but uh, yeah. Anyway, options, we have options. We have the graphics, which this does not save. And that's a shame because it's kind of annoying to change it every time. Uh, we have other uh, options here. If you like to see, the controls cannot be changed. Uh, you just, this is just a list to look at. Um, anyway, I started out with a campaign. I really don't want to do any more of the campaign because it is like many, many things going wrong. Um, however, we can play the sandbox. And the scenarios field is, um, yeah, blank, basically. Um, there, there, there is a thing when it's on Steam that says Season Pass, and I'm wondering if that's what that is, is that maybe more content will come later. Anyway, we're going to try a sandbox game, and I don't want to do anything carefree. You have basically everything is unlocked. Um, I think we'll do maybe a normal one. I think this is a good kind of a good starting place. We get not, not as much as the challenging mode, um, but since I'm still learning the game and still kind of uh, doing something, that's going to give us a little bit better uh, options here. Anyway, um, this is kind of an interesting game where you hire workers, you build an inn, and you kind of... Oh, wow, there's a lot of rocks out here. Anyway, we're going to start off by building an inn. So let's pause the game for a moment here. Um, well, I guess we can look at our options. This is this is where we're going to do our business. Ooh, what's this? There's a house out there, maybe a whole town. Nice. Um, this is the map where we go to buy stuff. Uh, let's see, are any of these having markets? We can basically send our cooks here to learn new recipes. These different icons indicate different things. Um, airtight, larder, some of them are for adventurers. This is a town crier where we can advertise our inn. Let's see, we don't have enough influence to establish new trading road. Okay, okay. So we have to learn a little bit about these people first. Okay, here we have a market stall. This is where we're going to go to look for different ingredients, and they have different prices in every town. Uh, so yeah, that's that's one thing we'll get to. Oh, they have, they have wine there. Oh, that's important. So wine is very important because that's kind of the lifeblood of our entire business. We start out with drink. Um, all right, so let's get back to building our inn here for now. And we are going to build, first of all, our main hall. That's the part where patrons come and drink and, uh, and the kind of the first thing we actually need to build here. It looks like there's a ton of rocks that are blocking our way. So let's just build kind of a, a small main hall for now. Let's see. Actually, oh, okay, that's right. Yep, there we go. Building it like this. Do, 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 do. These each cost 500 to build, so we want to just be careful as we're doing this. Can we? You can also press tab to go into overview mode. Okay, it's not letting us build past that rock. We have to clear these things. There's some wood here, rock there. So I think we'll just sell those couple of items there. Um, I want to leave room for a staircase eventually. Uh, do we want to add a kitchen right now? I'm thinking we'll just kind of delete some of those rocks and things first. So let's just do that now. We also have uh, build mode items that are floors and doors. So these are the doors. And what do we want to choose for a nice door? I have some fancy things here. Let me see. It's so funny, I'm leaning in and normally I'd have to move my regular mic, but the, the headset mic moves with me. <laughs> it's like one extra thing I don't have to think about. This is a fancy door, let's go with this. Okay. All right, so we have this door here. I also want a door on the side, and this is gonna be kind of similar to the um, starting uh, in that you get in the, the campaign mode. We have windows, which are kind of nice. They cost 50. I think we'll put in a few windows. Not too many, because we want to have like some decorations and stuff on the wall as well. Put one maybe there, and then maybe... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Um, let's see, we have walls. Now, these look, a lot of them look like outdoor walls. Some of them don't look like indoor walls. <laughs> It's a shame you can't like shift click like pr 
preview them. Uh, you can actually shift click to do the whole room, which is, yeah, that wasn't really one that I would like. But uh, anyway, you, I, it would be nice, like The Sims has that, and it's so good. Should we make a bright, and you know what, we'll make a red tavern, why not? Okay, and then the outside we're gonna kind of leave it as is. Or, let's see, do we have anything that we really like for this red tavern? We could do this, like full red boards. Or it could be dark brick, ah, that's fine. I think the default is just fine there. And then we can choose inside flooring as well, different planks, I kind of want some wooden floors. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, look at that. Hey, 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 this is cool. It's like a checkerboard kind of funkiness here. Not the entry that way. Well, actually, we'll do the full, I don't know, entry area maybe. And then this area can be for tables and stuff. I kind of want planks. There's a lot of nice variety of flooring. What does that look like? That's small planks. Kind of like these planks or those maybe. Dark ones maybe. Actually, dark look pretty good with this. Let's go with dark. Let's do that. Okay. Shift. I don't want to shift click because it's going to ruin my red floor, I think. So anyway, I don't know if this is going to look good. Let's put some furniture down and see. Okay, and then we have stairs as well. So this is going to be good. You rotate things with Q and E. Uh, oh, that's very... I love those those um, banisters. They look quite funny. Ooh, that's fancier. Okay, $1,000 or 1000 gold for this. I'm not going to afford that right now. I want first to get some stuff. All right, what do we have here? We've got a dugout stored, you store it for food and ice or growing mushrooms. Uh, we have a simple counter, elegant desk. Nice. Uh, we are gonna start out with the simple counter and that is going to allow people to order stuff and do all the things. Actually, let's get to the, this looks sorta good. Where is it? Okay, I think it's this simple counter. I thought there was one where basically you have all the uh, basic objects. But anyway, I think this will do just fine. So we're gonna put this here uh, and let our patrons come in and say hi. That looks good. Okay, I think that's fine for now. And um, let's put down a few tables and chairs. We have just basic things right now. Type of podium, ooh, nice. All kinds of things are going on here. Isn't that nice? All right, um, let's just see. Let's set out some tables out here. We just need one space if you move it along. And what you do is put benches around there. And people can, oh, no, 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 that's too far, actually. Okay, there we are. Okay, let's sell, can I move this? Yeah, we can move it, just click it and drag. All right, and I like to have a space between stuff because I think it looks better. All right, so what I want to do here, I think we'll have, let's see, have several tables. Uh, do I want more space? I think I do want more space between them. Yeah, so I'm gonna have walking aisles for the servers to walk around these tables. One, two, okay. Okay, that's looking nice. All right, and how many is this? So we have one, two, three. I'm just like looking for like how far to space the other ones as well. Anyway, uh, each of these benches can hold two patrons and then the, um, so basically each table seats four. Let's go ahead and rotate these. Boom, boom, boom. All right, looking pretty good. This is very basic, but we're just starting out. We need to make some money first and foremost. All right, um, we can get food sorted out maybe in a bit. What do we got here? Desk table, night night potty, aw, and <laughs> nice. Um, these items are mostly for cooking. I don't know if we have enough money to get into cooking yet. I guess we do. One of the things that patrons love is to have light. So we're gonna put in some light here. Now different patron classes like different kinds of things. Um, some of them, don't like light they like it dark so you might want to have some dark areas of your tavern as well i feel like the people who like the light can sit in the center and the others not so much okay, what is this okay that's just a pole all righty what else do we have here disgusting outhouse uh, i think we might need one of those <laughs> let's have that one out here somewhere 
um, they do have a um, yeah negative uh, penalties here. It's messy and it is bulky, uncomfortable to use, and it has ugly. Greatly lowers nearby aesthetics, so we're going to keep it outside and hopefully that'll be fine. Now we do need a notice board. It gives us messages, bounties, notices, and of course tons of adverts. All right, so let's put that outside here. Okay, and then we have a woodshed, we have a rat trap, pallet. Pallet is going to be really good for us to receive goods on, otherwise they kind of end up right in the front of the, uh, in front of our inn here. All right, let's see, can I, oops, there we go. That's the correct direction. Man, I kind of wish I didn't build this so close. Actually, what we could do is we could sell some of this and make our inn a little bit interesting looking. Let's just do that instead. Take out these two things. And that, oh, that's kind of a nice little uh, little addition there or change to the thing. All right, let's put this pallet out here. There we go. Because what happens is when you get deliveries of goods, uh, like over here, they seem to have delivered stuff right across the road. This is a bit closer for our people to store stuff inside. So I think it's a better kind of idea there. Now, we are gonna need some places to store our wine and that's gonna be probably in a simple barrel. Let's see, box, we have, where's the other barrel on its side? Do I see it? Oh, we need a water barrel as well. That would be good. Um, Hmm, let's put the water barrel here. I don't see the side barrel. I wonder if that's somewhere else. Nope, we may not have it. It might not be in unlocked in this particular scenario yet. Uh, anyway, we want to have barrels to store our wine in. So let's just put them here. I don't want to block the door. Okay, that seems okay. We can move them later if we want to. Um, it would be nice to have some shelves as well. I could put the shelves on this side and just have uh, different things that we might need to store just down here. I don't know if we'll make this the kitchen. We might. That actually might be a really good place for a kitchen. Uh, I would like to get a wood chopping block as well if that's unlocked. I don't see it. No, not yet. Training dummy. <laughs> that's funny. It's for our adventures, I guess. Okay, stoves. What else? Dugouts. Um, I don't see anything else that we really need or want changing screen Aww. okay um yeah i guess we might just start with the i think okay we have 8550 now to operate this in uh let's look at what supplies we have that are on the ground here we'll just see do we have anything or maybe we don't have it because it's not part of our world yet looks like we have some plates here we have mugs. Mugs are very important for serving stuff. Oh, we do need a dishwashing thing. I have no idea what this is. All right, and we have a barrel. Oh, that's nice. That might be a barrel of wine, actually. Let's get that set priority up to haul that stuff. I'm gonna haul these things and haul these. And uh, what is this? Oh, garlic. <laughs> Best way to keep your friends away and your enemies even further. And what do we, oh, firewood. Firewood is used for cooking. And these are bread, okay, so we can serve some bread to our citizens. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, all the all the construction going on. Anyway, let's let the game go ahead and go. Oh wow, that's that's a loud sound effect. Let's just fix that real quick. Alright, there we go. Let's put this all down here to the same level. Okay, and we'll go. Okay. Alright, and this is our person, uh, let's see who this is. This is Eolo. Um, Alright, so what uh, Eolo does is basically everything, seems like it. What does he do? Is he on a, a particular... No, he's good. He does everything. Anyway, we are going to need some employees here. Okay, oh, we have, whoa, we have tasks. That's nice. Look at this. All right, we have the main hall. We get our fame rises as a reward. Okay, trade route. Add any dish to the menu. Remove two objects from the inn surroundings. Okay, so we're going to get stuff. Random recipes. Add any dish. Build a kitchen and equip it with a kitchen table and a dishwasher. We do need that dishwasher. I'm wondering if we should make this the kitchen. That might be a good thing. Okay, let's get some people working for us here. Um... Those are guests. That is not the right one. I always confuse the guest one with the worker one. Okay, 
Uh, let's go and get a... We need a servant right now. Let's look at them. They have different qualities. Like this person is loyal and this person also is a gossiper. It was their best gossip that they sometimes stop working to get it. You can also pay these scrolls in order to unlock other traits. Let's look at Orsola. She is gloomy. Oh no! Negative all the time. And she also is a workaholic. Shows great passion for their job. Hooray for them. Okay. Clara is persuasive. Hire this work if you want to make more money. More money than usual, that is. <laughs> anyway, um, but is sickly. So these people have pluses and minuses. Um, these are the only servants we have, and they are basically serving the dishes to patrons. So we're going to hire Clara, I think. And we need a drudge um, or two. Let's see, workaholic, uh, chaotic. Oh, wow. Interesting. What is this one? That is speedy. Oh, speedy is a good one. Okay. Anything else? This is a perfectionist. We don't need a perfectionist, I don't think. And definitely not a drunkard. Okay. Uh, let's try a Ulysses instead. Okay. And we don't have a kitchen yet. I don't know if we can afford that, but that's okay. We're going to we're gonna go with these couple of employees first. Let's see what's going on. All right. And as you see, uh, our person here, who is this? This is Clara. She is sweeping up the inn. Uh, to make sure everything is nice for our patrons. So, I think with the amount of stuff we have, we can actually start selling stuff right now. Um, I think we do need a dishwashing item. Uh, where is that thing? It looks like a funky barrel with a broken thingy on it. Like a broken barrel. Is this it? Oh, this is a dishwasher. Okay, this is different than in the other um, the other thing that I did. Anyway, uh, let's put this for now right over here because we do need a dishwashing thing to wash our mugs up. Even if we don't have the plates going, we need to wash the mugs. Okay, let's go. Unpause. Okay. And I think it's looking pretty good. Let's see. Room info, main hall. Uh, cleanness, it's at six. So I feel like they probably need to clean this a little bit more. She's working on that. Uh, and hopefully it's going to get better. Man, they're all cleaning now. Look at this. <laughs> I wonder if this number is going up at all. Nope. Okay, maybe it just needs to be more fun. I don't know, maybe it's locked to the appearance. Anyway, let's go ahead and open our inn so some of these people can come in here and check out what we have. Oh, this is nice. People just walking right through. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, can we remove these items? Oh, perfect. So I want to just remove some of these items, especially these on this side. Just take these out completely. Oh, good, good, good. Very good. What sort of inn doesn't have any drinks? No! You know what we forgot to do? Let's pause the game. We forgot to set up our menu. Let's do that real quick. So what we do have is a mug of table wine. All right. Uh, oh, no, we don't have any. Actually, we have mugs of lager. Right. So let's go ahead and do this and put that on our menu. We'll just do the check mark. And so what we need to do is go out into the world and find lager. Okay. And this shows us what resources we have. We have 10 barrels of lager and that's it. Um, I do want to serve wine if we can. So let's go and see if we can get some wine on the menu or on the uh, map as well. Okay, there's not a lot of places to buy stuff. Um, we can get wine times 10. Uh, this place has wine at 74. They have lager at 58. Okay, do these people have lager? Okay, the other people are much cheaper on lager. Seems like it. Rockberry's Mansion. Okay. Oh, lager at 58. All right, what we're going to do is... I forgot to... Oh, geez. I forgot to look at the price of wine. I think it was similar. Anyway, what we can do is this. So what you're doing here is you are buying lager times 10. You cannot buy it in any other quantities other than 10. This is what you get. Uh, you move this to the shopping list with this little button here. And notice that you have transport expenses of 100. So no matter how many you buy, it still costs the cart to deliver it. So it's not like Amazon where you pay by weight or something like that. This is 
You take a cart, you come and get it, and that's what you get. Now you have space, two of 10. That's how much space we have on this cart. So let's get three of these for now, and I wanna get, um, let's see, wine. We want wine. One, two, three, four of those. Okay, the total cost is right here. It's 570. I'm thinking we should just fill up on all these things, to be honest. Um, anything else we need emergently? I think we're fine uh, until we go and uh, look at other stuff. That's that's okay. Let's let's get some more lager and more wine. One, two, and then more lager. There we go. All right, and that's filled up the entire cart. 776. Let's buy it. Okay, so when you click this, it's like it doesn't do anything, but it actually does do something. So what happens is when you press play, you see a tiny little horse cart right there. It's very, very cute, and it comes and delivers the stuff. So it's coming along the road to us over here. Uh, anyway, let's go and put that new thing on the menu. So let's add our mug of uh, table wine right there. Um, we're going to get that. It'll be fine, everyone. It's going to be great. So... What do we have now in terms of money? We have 7,400, which is okay, I guess. I kind of want to wait until we have a little bit more money. I guess we could start converting part of this, uh, part of the inn here, to adding a kitchen. Okay, so the conversion process for making a room into another room you can't just click and drag this and i really wish you could i've been kind of playing with this and it's a no-go so <laughs> what we need to do is actually sell these rooms and then we can convert it into a kitchen now i'm thinking we can just go around like this and make this into the kitchen and maybe put some more tables by the wall or something extend that that way um, right now yeah, that's kind of all we can do until we move these other items. And that's what I want to do right now as well, is just kind of move them around. There we go. Move, move, move. And then we can sell these rooms and then make it into a kitchen. Okay, sell, sell, sell. There we go. And kitchen, kitchen, kitchen is going to be here. Yay. I wish it was like a click and drag. I keep trying to do that, as you notice. <laughs> All right, so what do we want to do here? I want to put in a shelf. Um, yeah, I want this entire area this way to be a kitchen, not a shelf, a, uh, we want to put in the doorway. Let's put the fancy door like that. Oh, that's great. And then we need to, of course, finish, uh, we need to put in this interior wall that we like here. The red walls, hooray. Okay, there we are. All right, and I think I can go ahead and move these other items back where they belong. Let's go put this here and this one here. Okay, and the dishwashing stand can kind of go in the middle, which is just fine. Maybe something on the other side as well. And we're, <laughs> we're pretty, pretty low on money at the moment, so let's go ahead and get things going. Now, one thing that I have to say about the game is that I found this thing very confusing because to me this almost looks like if you click the open it's almost like a link then it's open but what it is is the lighted one is the one it is so if close is lit up then your um your inn is closed oh look at them all having a good time here dang okay so there we go and these people are right who is this again this is ulysses and he's fixing stuff for us. Okay, whoops. Well, I think I also want to put some light in here so our cooks have something to look forward to. Ooh, we got a bunch of stuff now. All right, we got some gold coming in. Random recipe, I wonder what we got. Fame rises, yay! Your reputation is improving. All right, we want to buy a tool shelf, serve satisfied guests. All right, 100 guests in the inn, wow. All right, and building kitchens is good. Let's see, what else? 10 different recipes. Hire a drudge, a servant, and a kitchen hand. Ah, oh, yeah, we're almost there. We might get to that very shortly. All right, there we go. Yep. So some of these people are complaining, you want my money or not? So we're going to have to get another servant, I think, right now. So let's go and look at those people. Let's hire them. There we go. Uh, Zyra, who is this? You have Gossiper and Loyal. 
I really want people who are fast. Workaholic, that's fine. And gloomy. Oh no. <laughs> ha! That's not ideal. It's okay then. Or so I'll let you do your thing. Um, and then we can also maybe hire a kitchen hand. I guess we could. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you have all the qualities. Holy fuzzy cats. Sly. Okay. And then we have lazy. That's not good. Lawful. Okay. And coward. This. Wow. Not great qualities there. Gloomy. Gossiper. And sickly. Oh no, all the kitchen hands are just terrible. Oh man. Drudges are the one that carry um, stuff from the pallet inside and serve things. Oh my, and not, not serve those things. Um, the servants do that, or servers, I guess, would be a better word for it. They are leaving stuff. Well, this is good, because as they leave um, money for us, hopefully they're going to get us some reputation, and we can start uh, getting out into the reputation tree, which is quite large. Um, we can start by unlocking a new type of, type of guest, which are the outlaws. We can unlock the tool shelf to speed up and raise the quality of tasks. Uh, there's garden to grow plants. Turnips are available from the start. That's nice. Employees have a chance of overhearing rumors. Okay. Costs of building uh, rooms are lowered by 50 goldens. Uh, increases the amount of money people are willing to pay for food and drink. That sounds good. Unlocks, unlocks a stump for chopping wood and getting firewood. Actually, that's a really good one. And then we have a dormitory for renting beds. Now that could be also a great thing. Now here is currently what our guests expect. They expect to drink and to eat because it's, yeah, we, um, this is our fame over here and that's what they want. They're gonna soon want a toilet as well and then renting a bed. So bed might be really good. Let's go ahead and unlock this. I also wanna unlock the new guest type outlaws. So let's uh, look here at the rest. Let's see, can we move this? Okay, we can move it with middle mouse button. Darts, a well, cl collecting water for free. That is quite nice. Guess we'll start leaving tips, more storage options, fireplace, uh, and another increases money. People are willing to pay for food and drink. Okay, we can change the prices of everything on our menu. That's something kind of important. Let's see, storage object, what do we want here? I'm thinking well or chopping block. I'm, I'm thinking well, let's get the well. And that unlocks, what do we got? Maximum amount of goods that can be ordered by five. Ooh, that's tasty, that'll save us money. Chicken coop uh, for braiding eggs needs cereal. We've gotta feed those chickens. Significantly increases the gossip limit by a hundred. Wow! And then tips are nice, but we have no available points yet. All right, so as we get fame, we're gonna have to do this. We already have an outhouse, which is absolutely great. So we're kind of ahead in the curve on that one. So let's go ahead and go back and um, let's see. Did we get Your our kitchen hand? Is leveling up. Hey, woohoo. Okay, and here is where they're leveling up. We can see stuff. Okay, we have things, oh my goodness. We don't have enough mugs, that's not good. Uh, sometimes that can be solved by washing them in the washing thingy. Oh, but we don't have water. Oh no, did I Did I get that? I think I just got the well. Let me just check that, because that's kind of important. Let's see, did we? Did I unlock the well? Let me just check and make sure, because otherwise it'll be looking out. Yeah, I did, I unlocked the well. All right, let's go and get that well, because this is, um, yeah, not ideal to not have a well. Here it is, 120. So we have a water is needed in the kitchen. So I'm thinking we'll put this well out here. 1200 it costs. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, looks like this area, can we build over these bits? Probably not. Let's see, can I have this hauled please somewhere? Um, and what we can do is we could also build our chopping stump out here and just have an entrance to the kitchen. I wonder if they're gonna haul these things. Ooh, vast travelers, look at this. Oh, they want good food, a bed with no bugs. <laughs> wow, all right, and we don't have enough to store stuff either, that's not good. All right, and then outlaws. An interesting thing is we can look at our group types of what people want, um, I think. 
see. Are they here? These are our reputations with the various uh, groups as well. Okay, it doesn't say specifically, but is leveling up. you kind of learn as you go what people like what stuff. Like outlaws like decorations that are uh, chains and naughty stuff like that. Uh, shields, weapons. Uh, we don't have any decorative items at the moment. We just have lamps and stuff. So that's not ideal at all. I think I want to get... This is 400 for this one. Let's buy that one instead. We'll go cheap on this. Let's see if I can build those rooms. Or the rest of the kitchen. Nope. No. Ugh. The sadness. All right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Good thing we can kind of change our mind easily. What we need to do to extend this and not create an extra wall is click here and it highlights it and then we can add to that. This is really not a good situation here. Um, what I can do though is just put a temporary door in right there so they can they can come in here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. No. Sell that one. Put it here, please. Good. This looks so stupid right now, <laughs> but it'll be okay. Um, I, I'm going to make this a square room as soon as we get that firewood hauled, but we can help this process by actually putting in a firewood um, holder right here. There it is, wood holder. So we'll put that in here. Uh, put it right by the door, perhaps. Actually, right by this door, I'm thinking. Actually, this is going to be one space, so let's put it here. In fact, maybe a couple of them. Okay go so they can haul that wood out there move this priority up go 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 let's go okay nice your employee is leveling up yay leveling up employees we don't have enough mugs yet because we don't have water so if we look at this, does it show us how many? Oh yeah, 12 dirty mugs. <laughs> it actually would be nice to buy some more mugs and some more plates because 12 is not a lot of mugs to have. It really isn't. Oh, there they are. They're washing away. That's very nice. Okay, and then it shows us where are our clean mugs. Do we have any? It might be that the guests are actually using the clean mugs. So we keep getting dirty ones back. I believe we only have 10 as per we started. So let's see if there's a place that has clean mugs available. Well, any mugs. So see, there's a 90 for 10. Oopsies, I exited all the way out. Is this a place we chose? Yeah, 90. This one, they have mugs for 89. I'm hoping we'll like find a potter's colony or some but some somewhere that has these mugs. These people don't want to trade either. Oh, they have wine there. That would be nice. We go here. This is a bank actually. So they have mugs for They don't have mugs. They don't have mugs at all. Anywhere else on the map that we can see might have mugs. See, here's a place. Oh, sell 20 mugs of lager. Hooray! These are 98. They have different. Ooh, perfume. That's nice. Okay. Please. Uh, any more towns? It looks like that's all for now. Maybe. How about here? This is a National Bank of Sambria. Mugs. Ooh, they have nuts. 130. Okay, so those 90 numbers were going to be a better bet. What about this place? Did we look here? No. All right. They don't have a market for us. Okay, those mugs were just about the same price each, so we're just going to buy them. Um, let's get, let's see, two, three. That'll give us 40 total mugs. And plates are probably going to be around the same price, so let's just get a couple of plates as well. Uh, and that's going to cost us 536. Ah, let's just go for, go for broke here. We're, we're going to serve up the whole place. All right, let's see what we got in terms of gifts from the world here. Fame rises. Hey, <laughs> that was not that ideal. Okay, that's fine though. 
Now then, we can start buying something simple, perhaps? Okay, come on folks, store this wood. Go, go, go! Wait, is this regular wood or, or is it firewood? Oh, no, this is regular wood. Okay, so that wood has to be chopped on a chopping block before it can uh, be um, stored in these holders. Looks like we do have some firewood, and I think that's from the cache we had at the very beginning of the game over there. All right, so we're going to have to sell some more logger, I think, and get people, people going here. It looks like they really want stuff. Can I sell something simple? Let's look on our on our menu and see what we have here. There's bread soup. We've got fried eggs, garlic bread. Ooh, we have garlic and butter. Oh, ho, ho. that might be quite easy. Let's see. Garlic bread requires an uh, this kind of an oven, and then you need bread and garlic. That seems pretty easy, but it's only liked by uh, these outlaw people. That seems okay. Oh no, there's not enough mugs. Okay, they haven't arrived yet, I guess. Let's see. We could get this. We have both ingredients right now. Let's see if we get an oven. Let's go slower here. And see if we can get ourselves an oven. I really want our our kind of fame to rise and us get a new star. That would be so nice to get that upgrade point. Okay, this was the thing we needed, I believe. Simple stove. Sure. Okay, I think this will work. So I'm gonna just put this simple stove out here. Let's put it all the way on the end here, like this. We can maybe move these wood holders later. What else do we have? Old but reliable stove, that's a thousand. Yeah, let's go for the cheap stove. And I think we need to hire a kitchen hand. Let's look at our current employees, which are here. Let's see, do we? have okay we do not have kitchen staff so let's look at our if there are kitchen staff people available sly lazy no we didn't have any new people lawful and all right sure all right you can come and work for us i'm gonna go ahead and put that that oh it is on the menu that's great so i do think we should get some more bread and more garlic from the world and also more firewood unless Oh, we have stuff. Look at this. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right, we've got the dream team. Five new random workers available for hire. Okay. That, that seems okay. Sure. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, we got a point. Look at this. We could get the chopping block. I think we want to get this chopping block. Let's just get it. And therefore, we can uh, then, or uh, thenceforth, maybe? I don't know what the word would be. Anyway, we can chop stuff now. There we go. We'll put this on the opposite side of the well, or maybe by the pallet or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter that much. Anyway, we can chop this wood, and let's make sure that our employees are told to chop the wood. This uh, let's see. Block. About you. Hello. Chopping. Breaking. Are you the right person? Yeah, you are a... Uh, what do you call it? Is it the drudge? I think it's called the drudge. Yep. And this filter does not seem to work, by the way. It's just... Oh, there they go. There they go. Okay. Ulysses. Hey, how you doing? And Iolo. Let's see if we can get you to look at your tasks. Breaking, carrying, water and cleaning, kitchen work, innkeeping, gossip. But... They are also chopping, which is fantastic. So then we can finish our kitchen finally. And with the firewood, we can start cooking stuff for our patrons. All right. We are kind of short on patrons right now, which is kind of frustrating. But that's okay. Let's look at the ingredients we have left. Okay, we have 10 garlic, 10 bread. Actually, we didn't cook anything yet. That's a bit surprising uh, because we had no firewood. I wonder if they just loaded up the stove and that's how they do that. I don't know. But... Uh, we have plenty of mugs, we've got plenty of wine, and do we have any lager? <gasps> no! Are we out? Oh my gosh, we're out of lager. Jeez. Okay, let's go shopping. Let's go and get some lager. Now, I have to say that I do find the whole clicking around towns um, quite, uh, what do you call it? Labor-intensive, micromanagey, whatever you want to call it. 
it's 53 there. I press escape to get out of that window and I go all the way back. Uh, this one is 70, so that's much better at Rockberry's Mansion. But I guess you have to remember everything for every item. And I find that a bit frustrating. I find it very, very micromanaging and very not fun. Um, it's like, oh, geez, come on. <laughs> come on, you know? Oh, man. But it's, you know, that's how it's working right now. Okay, so 356. Actually, let's buy some more. Let's just buy a whole cartful. Okay, and it, it'll sit on the pallet if we don't have enough place to store it. So we can also look at our menu and just for example and to see what we have here and set the price of things if we want it higher or lower um, so you have a lot of options in this game for different things come on guy can you chop this stuff so now since we have the the chopping block normally what we would have to do is if we don't have that upgrade we'd have to buy firewood so here they're selling firewood for 92 and wood for 14. So if we chop our own wood, it's much, much cheaper uh, to get that stuff here. There's no food. There is food. Hey, there is food. Dude, I promise you there's food. We're, we're, we might be making food. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. Oh boy. Anyway, so this is, this is how this functions. It's, um, it's interesting. It's interesting. And people are yelling and meowing and all the things. The room looks dull. I w wish I could l unlock like some decorations. That would be very nice because the people are not that happy with things here right now. Really not happy. All right, transport with supplies arrived. Yes. Okay, so this is all of our logger that we just got. Your employees Hooray. leveling up. Yay. All right, I'm going to go back to slower mode and let's see if we can build more onto our um, inn here. Whoopsies. All right, so kitchen, boom, yay, yay, and ah, oh, yay, yay, no, ah, it'll be fine. Anyway, there we go. That's what. Not enough gold. Oh no. <laughs> okay, trapped by the gold. Um, let's go ahead and put our door here. Yeah, we'll just put the door there, and then we can add another square when we get to that. I think that would be okay. All right, so there we go. We're making a bigger kitchen for our our people. It's kind of funny, just filling up on drinks, going and getting stuff for our patrons. Looking good. Now let's see, can you change the names of people? I've kind of been wondering that. Let's go and see. Hello. Let's look at you. Okay, I'm clicking here, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Is up. One thing that I find kind of a bit funny is you can click on them. Oh, uh, whoopsies. Zoom. Pause. I wanted to pause. And you can say praise them or scold them or give them a bonus or start a break. Um, because employees do oh, actually want to go on break. So let's quickly look at the different rooms you can build. Uh, you can build an empty room, main hall, which is what the this is kitchen then we have storage rooms and we have a staff room where people can go and relax the staff go and relax guest rooms and private rooms and we have game rooms so hopefully we'll be building all of those in this series but at the moment i think that's kind of enough for now so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time